Hello and welcome. This is Chandni Nebnani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Japan deploys 1,10,000 rescuers after worst storm in decades. More than 1,10,000 people are taking part in search and rescue operations after Typhoon Hagibis struck Japan on Saturday. The typhoon, the worst storm to hit the country in decades, has left at least 66 dead with 16 missing. Typhoon Hagibis also caused the cancellation of three Rugby World Cup matches, but a key match between Japan and Scotland went ahead. The typhoon has weakened and moved away from land, but has left a trail of destruction. Satellite images show how how the river Naka in Hinuma burst its banks, flooding nearby homes. The typhoon battered eight prefectures across Japan with wind speeds of up to 225 kilometers per hour. Akige's Park on the Arakawa River floodplain near Saitama City was submerged after the typhoon. Industrial areas in Yoshinodai near Kawago were protected by flood defences as water levels rose along the Iruma River. Thousands of police officers, firefighters, coast guards and military personnel are taking part in search and rescue operations to find people trapped by flooding and landslides. Thousands of homes remained without power or water. More than 200 were injured in the storm whose name means speed in the Tagalog language. About 1,38,000 households were without power while 24,000 had no electricity electricity well down on the hundreds of thousands who were initially left without power but a cause for concern in northern areas where temperatures are forecast to fall. The highest toll was in Fukushima prefecture north of Tokyo, a largely agricultural area where the Abukuma River burst its banks in at least 14 places. At least 25 people died in the area including a mother and her child who were caught in flood waters. Her other son who was caught up in the flood with her remains missing. Survivors described how water rose rapidly to chest height in about an hour and mainly at night, making it hard to escape to higher ground. Many of the dead in Fukushima were elderly, NHK said. Major highways remained closed in the city as people began returning to work after the storm and a long weekend. Thousands of police, fire officials and military personnel continued to search for people who may have been cut off by floodwaters and landslides with hope diminishing that the missing would be found alive. Though the threat of rain is expected to ease on Tuesday, temperatures are likely to drop in many areas later this week, in some cases to unseasonably low levels. More than 7 million people were urged to leave their homes at the peak of the storm, but it is thought only 50,000 stayed in shelters. The capital Tokyo was left relatively unscathed, but other cities and towns across the country were inundated by water. More than one meter of rain fell in the town of Hakone, the highest total ever recorded in Japan over 48 hours. It was only last month that Typhoon Fuxai wrecked havoc on parts of Japan, damaging 30,000 homes, most of which have not yet been repaired. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.